Hi guys and welcome back. So this week what we're going to do is I'm going to get Maddie to help me review two mats. Now I've reviewed both of these mats before. One's the putt-out mat and the putt-out system and the other one is the well putt. They're both premium mats and although I've done a full review, Maddie's never putted on either of these systems before. Uh, we'll watch her do a few putts and we'll try and highlight what the actual putting mat tries to get across to everybody. And, uh, and we'll kind of see what she thinks and then we'll let you know the prices then you can decide which one you would prefer to have in your house and which one would help your putting stroke possibly in the future. Alright so what you've got here this is the putt out mat so this is the first of the two Maddie. Have you seen this one before? No. Well only, ooh, only ooh. rolled up in our cupboard. Rolled up in the cupboard in its little box. Well, and I thought it was a sleeping bag when the boys had a sleepover but other than that no. <laughs> <laughs> okay so um, so you know, what you're trying to do here, obviously you can use these lines uh, on the floor here, uh, on the mat, to line yourself up. Yes. Okay. Oh. And then you've got your, your mat, which is, which is, yeah, we've got the shiwi at the bottom there. We'll I'll have a talk about that in a minute. So firstly, obviously we've got hardwood floor. We need a mat, don't we? <gasps> kick that it back, kick off. it back, kick it back. I need a backstop. Um, so what do you think of the pace? Do you think it's okay? Yeah. Yeah, it's not shag pile, is it? No, it's not too slow, is it? It's not too fast either. Uh, okay, there we no, go. No, it's all right. All right I well, feel this, like this is kind of your fifth one, isn't it? Oh uh, yeah, I feel like this is incredibly hard, but I suppose that's the point of it. When you say incredibly hard, what do you mean? Well, I'm assuming the aim is to get the ball to stop in that thing, is it? In the little hole. Yeah. Well, should I try it from nearer? Well, that is the perfect part. But really, anything that hits that the the white circle, yeah, you would hold pretty much. So that one would have made just gone in the side door. So is the aim to get it onto this white thing, or is the aim to get it into that to stay in the little hole? You can either have it to stay in the little hole, which is the perfect part, perfect okay. weight, but that is incredibly difficult. Okay. Um, but that's what your sort of challenge is. And that would be in, so that would be in the hole. Is you can I... close the hole over, and then if it comes straight back to you, that is a, a, a really good putt. All I meant yeah, is the pace, I feel, I'm gonna have to get nearer and nearer, I feel like I wanna see what pace is needed to stop it in that hole. And what is the idea of when you've achieved that pace, is that meant to be the ideal pace? Well, firstly, you're not just gonna keep holding them. It's very, very difficult to get in that hole. Uh, it just gives you a micro focus. The problem is if you've got OCD, you want to get it to stop You want to get hole. it in the hole, yeah. And I mean, that is the challenge, but uh, it is difficult. <sighs> All right, so go back a station then. Well, I haven't got it in. I need to get it in. I, I want to get it to stop in that hole. Well, you might not, but go on. I know, but that's what, if anybody well, is at all like I am, where you just need to finish a mission, mm -hmm. you will want to. Oh, that was close, that was close, that was close. I didn't scream, I didn't jump, but it's in there, look. You got it, yeah, well I done. I got it, okay. okay. Congrats. All right, All right so... And then, and then in theory you would move back. Okay, so this is good. So if you go back with the three balls as if you were going to have a little putting session. All right then, so this is your session. You're going to set up your putt, you're going to try and hit your, work on your putting stroke. Oh, I'm putting a lot to the left, aren't I? All right, I? that one's okay. a little bit left. Okay, I need to think about that. And this one, we'll do four and then we'll I'll see what you think. I'll try and put this think. a little bit right, maybe. Yeah. Just because I've hit them all left. Ooh. Yeah, nice. I mean, yeah. I'm just trying to think what you're going to ask me afterwards. She we, I mean, obviously it's a bit okay. gimmicky, but what is other than right? they're very popular, the she wees. I'm sure they are, but what I'm trying to say is what I guess I guess it would work more if you were just going to use one ball. It would make more sense because it's rolling it back. This whole little backdrop thing here, yeah, is rolling it back to you. Really, I mean, you could just have that white circle, couldn't you? Like yeah. a hole. Yeah, you can. I'm and just the trying to is, think what's you know, the point. It is a, an optional extra, but when you take it away, it's a little bit sparse, I think. Give us your idea. Give us. I know you've not tried the next one yet, but what do you think? As a putting experience, was that sort of fun? Do you think you could sit there and spend some time using that? Yeah. All right, so do you want to give it marks out of 10 for construction? Can I? Do I have to give marks out of 10 or can I do the other one? And no. then give them both marks because I've never, I don't, I've got nothing to compare this to. But that's fine. Most other people haven't either. 
give us marks as just something that you've just bought through the post. You can't compare it to, to another map because you don't have the other one. You don't want to spend the well, money on the other one. It's all right. So it's I'd all go, right. I'd go a seven or eight out of 10 overall. Okay, so should we do it in categories? So, so I mean, it's not. you're not going to say it's like, um, not that I really know what a high-end putting mat would be, but like I said, it's not got any fancy little roll-offs or different angles or something to bring it back to. I mean, it just literally is a piece of nicely made carpet. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Isn't it, with a few marks on? That's fine, and I'll tell you that that one is £70. <sighs> I'd say that's quite a lot for a little bit of carpet, but... Yeah? Okay. It's quite a nice job though, isn't it? I, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't want to impair your your thoughts of it, but most people have never bought one before. They want to practice their putting yeah. in their house. They want something to do. It's lockdown or yeah. whatever it is. Um, you know, and if they got that through the post I for mean, 70 quid... But it's okay. Yeah, I'll give uh, seven uh, or eight. what about the Shiwi, which is an, uh, an option extra for an extra 20 so quid? So that, does that come... That doesn't come with this? That's no, just a completely different thing? No, same company. Uh, again, I, I mean, I think it's okay. I think... As far as realistic practice, I'm just not sure about that bit, the backstop, the shimmy yeah. bit. And the ball's sort of rolling back to you and getting in the way, is that a problem or not really? Uh, it's a little bit annoying. I'm not sure what you would do about it, but it's a bit annoying. But I just feel like I'm not sure, I'm not sure fully the purpose. I get that it's designed it's to help it's you with pace and it's, and it's a challenge, but I'm not sure realistically how much that would actually help. Yeah, I kind of agree. You buy it, you get it home, you play with it, and then you think, am I going to continue to use it? Yeah, you're probably not. It's one not. of those, isn't it? Are you? I but it's only thought. 20 quid. It's nicely designed, isn't it? And it does look like a shiwi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, so again, should... I'd go six or seven out of ten. For the shiwi? Yeah. Yeah, sort of use it. It's okay. And, yeah. and it, I thought it was quite cheap, actually, 20 quid. You don't get much yeah. for 20 quid these days. No. Uh, okay, so should we go on to the other map? Yeah, okay, let's roll her out. All right, here we go then. So this is the uh, well putt. Um, okay, initial thoughts on this one is I like it because it's like Star Wars putting mat. <laughs> well, Do you know what I mean? Because it's just got things on it. Well, it's like planets. It's like outer space, a bit further outer space. You know, you've got your Earth and then you've got Pluto all the way out here. This is my initial feeling. They're not planets, but all right. And they've got little stars in between. Got little stars. All right, cool, okay. Yeah. So with yeah. this one... It, uh, it doesn't come with a shiwi. No, I'm quite but, pleased about that. I can but, see as a whole. But it does come with an app. Oh, okay. A nice app for recording and giving okay. you tips and bits and pieces. All right. And it gives you challenges to do. Do you want but, me to get the app now? Yeah, let's not go not? with the app. We'll just okay. go for the construction of the map. Maybe we'll do the app another time because it's well, another full sort of video. And I have done though. a review on this. Okay. So you're going to have a little check so on it. So that one's a little bit thinner and felty. A bit more felty. Yeah. But it feels very smooth. Very smooth. Yeah. Now these little this this putting system here. Yeah. Um, obviously we've got the the distances that you're going to putt, so you can get different stations. Yeah. Now if we look at the bottom here, you've got your ten foot there. Now if you can see that it's got little markers there yeah. for you to line up your putter. Yeah. So if you put it behind. Right. Yeah. Now that lines it up, and then also mm. along this eye line, you've got these dotted points. Helps you go from different stations. Yeah. all the way along and you can put the straight ones and you can put the ones from the left and from the right so it gives you a different perspective because i feel like if it's square all the time on a square map mm. you get used to that and then when you get on the golf course do you see what i mean it gives you a little different perspective of, of lining up yeah all right so i'll let you do some putts now what you want to try and do is obviously it'd be nice to get it in the hole but more than anything we want to try and get the pace right so we want to land not in the bad zone, which is short just there. <laughs> right. We want to try and land in this zone here. I mean, they've made that pretty cool, haven't they? They have made it cool, haven't bad they? Bad zone. zone. Boo. Boo. Good zone. zone. Yay, cheer, clap. Yay. Good man. What I quite like about it is if you do start getting it into the good zone, mm. then a ball's never in the way for you to go and move. Get, good. Get, get my idea. I get your drift. Shall I have a All go? Right, you just hit some then and, and we can get your thoughts after. One, just one little thing, yeah, both of them, on. that I find a bit tricky, but I suppose that it just is because it's inside in your house, is you're, you're on a little wonk with your feet on the edge of it, Okay, you? Point, point taken, yeah, yeah. Like, All could right, they not so have a flap, you know, that'd be good, on some of them, it would come out this way, and then you wouldn't you would have like, to be... You would have liked it wider. Uh, yes, I would. Okay. I would. Okay. Right, yeah, point taken there. Ooh! 
Yes, look at that for first go. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no, this is handy. I like... Yeah. I like Do you the... see how that lined you up there? Whereas before, you, you, yeah. you were kind of a little bit all over the place. Well, this is actually has a level of a guidance, almost tuition, doesn't it? I mean, that is giving you a tip. It does. To... And also the app does tell you what to do and when to do it and how many reps That's you should do. Good. I just want to say I haven't had a go on this at all. That's quite good, isn't it? As far as, like, I'm not saying I'm good, I'm saying yeah, no, I just good. hit the line that it suggested. Yeah, obviously. it gives you that eye line. And it's it, quite it, handy. Yeah, I like the dots ahead, a little bit like when you're bowling. Yeah. Yeah, that's Ooh, quite that's, cool. That's... Short, short, short. Yeah. Too short. Okay, now Take hit some from the middle as well. So you'll find that the middle and the one to the right, your feet will be on the mat a bit, uh, off the mat off, a bit yeah. more. You but see. I'll be in our sofa. Yeah, you're going to be in the sofa. Yeah, the, sh the shot lab is not quite... It's not ideal, is it? Yeah, no. <laughs> All right, so this is a straight one. Okay, do a bit of... Yeah, so you want to be... Got to readjust for being further away. Well, I've just been hitting it on a, on a shorter mat, haven't I? Pace. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah. So just try one from the edge. Yeah, try one from this side. That'll give you an idea. That ball behind might get in I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit hampered. I'm a little bit hampered. It was a bit like the... Uh, Crazy golf that we were playing. I'll put, I'll put a link above. Ooh. Bad zone, bad zone. Bad zone. Bad zone. <laughs> it's a long putt though, isn't it? Come on, that's got to be good zone. Come on. That's good weight then. That's good weight because you said you struggled with your weight before yeah. you had your lessons. Right, okay then. So do you think you've had enough? Do you want to give us an idea of... Uh... I actually am quite enjoying this one. I feel right. like I want to do a little bit more. So I'm going to try some from the middle. Oops. Just because of the interest or because it's... it's yeah, I think it's like... Or... It's kind of... Um, I don't know. Let me think. Why do I like it? I like that it gives you a lot of different options on length and angle. There's I like that. the little eyes everywhere. I like, like you said, that you don't have to... It doesn't roll it back to you. Yeah, because like the, the shiwi does. The shiwi rolls, you, rolls it back. Shouldn't we call it shiwi? Should we? It's quite bad. And then they get in the so way. The, the pressure it? part. It's called pressure part. Yeah, mm, okay, I feel so. a bit bad not having called it that now. Good zone. Stop. Oh, out the oh, no, That's fine. Come on, come on. That's good. Yeah, good. But can you see that? I know you're trying to hold it into this kind of nicely. Uh, yeah, sort of this graphic hole, but more than yeah. anything, you're thinking of pace. Yeah, I remember you know, what Ollie said I about think... it doesn't, of course, you want it in the hole, but it is also about the proximity and the percentage of them within yeah, it, exactly, the small yeah. proximity. And so, also, yeah. do you like the idea of these angles coming across now? Yeah, giving I do, you a different yeah, perspective. I do. Construction? Uh, good, good. Yes, yeah. nice and heavy, or, you know, uh, good well, enough. Well, I haven't actually. I guess you don't up. want it too thick, do you? Well, no, and I was going to say, I haven't actually felt the weight of them rolled up, but. Yeah. Uh, that's, I mean, it seems nice. I mean, yeah. again, I want you to think, imagine that you've not used the other one. Because this is the bit that the, yeah, the I, people, I, when they buy it, yeah. is the experience they'll get. I prefer this one. Okay. Um, for, for, for what reason? But, well, um, the thing is, I guess is it even a fair comparison? It's, it's much bigger. It gives many more options as far as length, angle, hole, clarity of where you put your bowlers, little target. Yeah. Um, and again, the thing of going being able to go beyond and then all your balls can just happily sit there if you're practicing with 10 balls yeah, exactly you yeah. can just roll a whole load up can't you instead of yeah. having to sort of go and that's what i get quite one back like about or one it. getting in the way yeah okay so let's um i'm gonna go a nine on this one whoa okay yeah, yeah. all right okay that's good well but it is a bit more expensive. It's quite a bit. It's double the price of the other mm. one nearly double the price of the other one yeah. just for the mat without the shiwi but you do get the app mm. and I'd like to think you'd never have to need another pattern mat again, would you? Mm -hmm. I think if you bought the other one, yeah. and you went to your friend's house, yeah. and you saw this one, yes. you'd probably go, oh, I, I think I want this one. Mm, it's like anything, isn't it? Yeah, do it right once. Okay, hey, well, I'll get the other one out. We'll put them next to each other so people have got a proximity Hi. idea of what they're like. Okay. okay. Okay, here's the two. Uh, this is the two mats next to each other. I'll try and get back. So this is, gives you an idea. And so one's down here, and one's there. There, that one's a little bit short there. Now, obviously, this could be a problem if your house is optically big as well. So, I mean, you've got to bear that in mind. Let's measure it, shall we? Do you want me to grab one end? Oh, what are these the, literally the two top of the range options or not? But I would say these are the two most prominent. Okay. Um, so that is 13 feet 2 inches. Okay. This one is 7 foot and 8 inches. 
So it's quite a bit shorter, isn't it? But okay. like you said, that might suit some people with a smaller house. Yeah, it could suit. And can you see that this one, the putt out one, has got this kind of binding on the edge here, which, you know, that, that's nice actually. It's good quality and a nice rubber on the bottom. I mean, it is definitely a quality Well, mat. my feeling on, but actually to stand on, that's quite annoying. I that, that's what flat. I was just about to say about because you did say even with this one you mm. didn't like the fact that you had to stand on no. it and it felt a bit funny. This is even more annoying isn't it? Yeah. Actually. Uh, I think so yeah although you prob stand over there you probably wouldn't stand on it would you on this one because you don't do it from different areas. Maybe yeah. I'm wrong. Yeah you could or it's just yeah you're right it's just the edge. It's this one is more wider, prominent because it? we were doing yeah. this one from this side wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's the, the blue one is thicker, um, but I don't think it's, I'm not sure that's... I, I think, matters. yeah, I'm, I'm not even sure that is a, an advantage, it being thicker, do you? No. Because actually it means the ball's a bit closer to your to, to you as well, because it's sitting proud, isn't what, it? What do they um, come in? I know that blue one comes in something that looks like a sleeping bag, because I thought it was a sleeping bag. Is this the one the same? Yeah. That one, the putt out one, I do really like that. It comes with that, but that's a little hard inner case. Really nice quality and it folds yeah. away nice. Okay, well, does so this come in anything? No, this one just comes in a box. Okay, so that's a little bit of a shame, isn't Let's it? Let's get the box. Uh, yeah, it comes in that box. Yeah, which nice is all right. It's, it is a nice box, but it, like with anything, I feel like that's gonna rip. Uh, that's nice. I feel like it's a shame this doesn't come in one of those. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> well, I think even at 160 odd quid for this one, mm. really to improve your pattern and have a nice experience, yeah. or get this one, which is nice, but maybe, like you said, you wouldn't be inspired to use so much. Well, That's and, what it's all about, isn't also, it? And also, putting is one of the most important parts of the game that you want to put practice into. So people go out and buy drivers for four or five hundred pounds, don't they? Exactly. And yeah. yet this is only 160 pounds. You could look at it that way, in which case you wouldn't care so much. It's well expensive though, isn't it? Not really. Not, not if you look at it like that, though, is it? <laughs> yeah, I suppose what price do you put on a putt uh, on improving yeah. your putting? And, um, yeah, it's never a very glamorous pattern though, is it? It's not what wow. people are into. The guy who helped yeah. design this uh, is uh, Jordan Spieth's pattern coach. Oh, well, there we go. There he is on the front. He's called Cameron McCormick. Oh, Cameron McCormick. Cameron McCormick. Um, and there's the app thing on the side. That, uh, oh yeah, I might have a look at the app actually. The app's uh, really good. Yeah, it's really good. It gives you challenges and tests and things to do and, and it, it helps you kind of do a shots gains of, of progress report how you're getting on and you can also have games with the rest of the family and you can do scorecards oh, and stuff like that anyway so okay. i hope that was in some way helpful maybe it's not but there yeah. we go hopefully you enjoyed that um i've done four reviews of both mats i'll put a link down below or above now uh you can go along and check those out and see a much more in-depth review uh certainly on the well pup with the app and all the rest of it so uh, give that a watch if you're considering buying with these mats Neither of them are particularly cheap, so uh, it is an investment in your putting. So I think it is a good idea and something to consider, certainly when you've got the mat out on the floor, maybe in the office, it's always nice to just keep your eye on. If it's, if it's down all the time, then uh, it's there for you to just consistently keep going. Uh, with this kind of thing, I, I often am looking at strike more than anything, rather than direction, just trying to get that strike and the distance control as well as I possibly can. And we've got a few little games that we're gonna do, which I'll show you in the next episode, of how you can up your putting game, give yourself some challenges on whichever mat, or just a carpet, depending on what you've got available to you. Uh, but if you'd like to buy one of these mats, I've got some links down below. They're affiliate links, so uh, the channel will get a tiny percent of that, uh, which will be great for your support if you do decide to go for it. And uh, there's a 10% discount for anybody that uses the code down below on the well putt mat. See you guys next week and look forward to delivering some more content. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks guys.